So let's uh, take a look at this first finger here. Looks like the hand, there's a pretty graceful arch here on that first finger. I'm going to switch my material so it's a little bit easier to, to read what's going on with the forms. And then um, there's, a, there's a version of the move brush so I just tap the M key to isolate to all the brushes that have uh, that start with the name or the letter M for move. And there's move topological. So what this does is it'll actually, in this case, it's not really that great for what I was really hoping for. But for instance, if I came over here and I wanted to mess with this, you can see this finger here is going to be in the same the same brush area. But if I'm using the move topological, it doesn't really have that much of an impact, which is uh, occasionally very very useful you got close stuff and you don't like basically it just sees uh, I am also hitting this how far away in the geometry am I from that item so but you know again in this case I don't actually know how useful it's going to be but so just kind of like looking at this line here have a little bit more of like a graceful slope down I'm going to turn the other Subtool on here, that plane. And with the, you know, as, as crude as this geometry is, I'm definitely not going to be able to get a huge amount of fidelity out of it. But, uh, you know, the more you can do at these early levels, the better off you'll be longer term so and we can see there's like a lot of webbing and stuff that's happening but i think i'm i'm gonna have to wait for another uh, you know as i as i get a little bit further along in my subdivisions but i can see that this feels a little bit more um a little bit more vertical right like right now i've got this thing kind of out so i think i'm just going to give it like a tiny bit of a rotation just to get a little bit closer to what's going on there. And we can see through here, there's a decent amount of curvature on this pinky here. So let's take a swing at that. And this finger, the ring finger, go ahead and hide that square, has got like a pretty good bend here and then a nice sharp angle. So. I'm going to go ahead and just basically mask off the uh, the finger, the, the the bottom, you know, last section there. That might actually be a little bit too far down the finger. And then this is kind of important. I want this finger to be bending in a in a relatively believable way, which means I want the hinge for that joint to be in approximately the right spot, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, bend it down. And if I turn my, let me see if I get that angle right. So right now I'm just looking for the angle on the finger. Uh, something like that. It's a pretty good angle. And then once I've got that, I'm going to mask off the whole finger. Make sure my, my pivot is accurate. You can always just grab that, uh, end of the, the far end of the transpose tool. We'll turn this back on, go to rotate. And if I rotate from the middle, I'm going to get a more of a barrel roll than a, a twist. Like we're going to, we're going to go around rather than pivoting on one side or the other. Okay. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hide this again. We're going to basically do the exact same thing over here. Although we can maybe do it in the opposite order. We'll start at the finger. Make sure this pivot kind of makes sense. You've got to actually click on the uh, on the circle there. Otherwise, it thinks you want to, you know, rotate the geo. So you can see it's pivoting from the top there. I think I might get a little bit of a better result if I pivot from the middle or the bottom. Well, hard to say. I'm going to use the move tool because you can see it's a well, it's a little bit higher. 
not that much. But it is kind of lined up with the top edge of the hand there, and that's I think that might be kind of what I'm looking at. So I'm actually going to grab this guy too. And crudely, you know, with the, the triangulation here is fighting me. So I'm just going to have to wait until I add some more subdivisions or dynamesh it. And now we'll just go ahead and do that same thing. So I'm looking at the distance or, or the uh, the difference between where this finger is and uh, what's going on here, and it feels like this might be a little bit too high or this might be a little bit too low. So I'm just going to maybe reduce, I'm just using the move brush here, just kind of push that down and see how it looks over here. It definitely has a significant, uh, it goes out further than the ring finger. Uh, it looks like the ring finger is not on the plane anymore, so let me go ahead and adjust that. Oops. And the uh, let's see, the pinky is a pretty, pretty straight line there. And you can see, looking straight on, how much distance there needs to be here. So I'm going to be kind of like these two views here are not necessarily like they're about the same width, I think, but they're definitely not necessarily lined up on the same axis. As in, like if you were to look through this point, you would get to the exact opposite point on this hand. Um, again, that's just kind of how. How reference works so that means I can sort of decide all right when I hold shift and snap to my ortho view this is the one I'm gonna look at and then I'm just gonna use this for reference but I'm not necessarily gonna like pay attention to how much negative space is here to make sure that the positions of this uh, this uh, pinky are correct so I think that's what I'm gonna end up needing to do to sort of decide that this guy is in charge all right Let's just visit the top view one more time while we're still at this very early phase to sort of see. Looks like the pinky probably sticks out too far, but I kind of like the um, I like the length of it. So I'm just going to rotate it down. Something like that. And then I do think there needs to be more width this way still. Like you can see, first of all, you can see the distance here is, this is probably too far. And then this is a, like a nice, almost like part of a circle, right? Like it's just got a nice kind of curvature to it. Whereas this has this like S curve. So I know that this area here needs to come out a little bit as well. And then probably that means we'll go ahead and, whoops. We'll go ahead and bring that pinky out just a little more. And there's a slight drop. Or is there? I guess those are about even. So these are probably okay for the time being. All right, so uh, we will continue positioning and refining the fingers in the next video.